As you can see, we've got a uh, signal fire. Hang on, there's Sparky, hold on. We have the top half. This part right here is all uh, pine needles and moss. This here is all dry, dry tinder, everything else. Jeff has got a zip cube right in there. And we're gonna fire this up with a flint steel just to see how fast we have to go. The wind is coming from the opposite side, so this is how we're gonna layer it. Next thing you know, we'll burn the place down. All right, one day Jeff is gonna light this and save our life. All right, the plane's coming now. We got five minutes. Oh, there we're screwed. That's a surge plane. You're doing fine, Jeff. No worries, don't let the camera bother you. Oh. Let's try crunching it up a little bit. Yeah. See where the fire spreads too, rather quickly. Okay, we're only about a minute into it. Or two minutes into it, I guess? Not even? A minute change? Windy all day until now. Until I know, now. eh? Right until now. Yeah, as soon as we, just before we light it, starts having a windy day. <laughs> yeah, nobody will notice that. No, let's see if it, let's see it take. Let's see how long it yeah, takes. Does it? Yeah. It's in about the middle. It's made its way to about the middle of the mm. tinder. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, you see all that smoke, eh? Imagine that about five times as much. Yeah. So when you build this thing bigger, you'll have more room to get in there. Yeah. So you won't be just doing it right on the edge. You'll be doing it right inside. But consider this one's only like maximum six feet tall. And we're talking 15 footers. See, now you can see the smoke. That's a fire.
You ever looked up into a fire before? No, but I want to. <laughs> Careful it doesn't fall on your face. All right, now all the viewers are wondering, what does it look like, Dave? Get up there! So, for you, I will do it. There we go. That's kind of cool. So get back here, trying to see how much smoke we get. Since the wind's blowing from this opposite direction, I will move around here. Don't forget the crown. Don't forget the things. There we go. Now you have about three of these things going, five times the size, and you will produce yourself an awful lot of smoke. Now eventually that twine will get burned through and this whole thing will just collapse on itself. I've never done a Actually, neither have I. I've only seen it done. So I wanted, I mean, neither have I. I've only seen it done, so I thought, yeah, let's try it. Yeah, just do it. So we've proven the two-tier thing is... Forget it. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Tripod one tier works better than two tier. You see, the earlier, like, remember the one that we did earlier? We had, like, different layers of. Yeah, all the way up. Right. All the way up, right? It's just to keep not only, like, space for oxygen we're getting, but, you know, it'll patch here, burn this, burn this up. 
see that. for how much smoke there is. This is about a fifth the size that we would use. So hopefully there's nobody actually lost, because then we will, uh, they'll come to us. We found you. Yeah, I found me too. <laughs> That's a godsend. <laughs> Okay guys, so you see that uh, we tried the two-tier thing, the one works better, so just pile it up in layers, and uh, it's going, it's happening. So, uh, remember, there's also about one-fifth, one-fifth the size of uh, what you normally have. This tripod would go all the way up to about 15 feet, whereas we only have it about 6 feet. So, uh, and then you just jam it full of stuff, so it would take off pretty good. Alright, so Dave Hensel, BushTubers.com.